we're doing right now is uh, we're the center car, meaning we have all the county uh, between routes 322 and 87 that we're responsible for. In Geauga County, it's wide open countryside. 90,000 people spread out over 407 square miles, with each officer responsible for a 50 square mile block. We're spread out pretty thin. Uh, from a patrol standpoint, uh, you know, we're single units, we're, we're one man in a car. Deputy Sheriff Joe Keel has been patrolling Geauga County for 18 years. If we need backup, you know, it could be several townships away uh, from the next nearest officer. So you learn to operate with that in mind. Do you have the problem with, with violence? Do you have the problems with drugs and those type of things? We do have drugs. We do have violent crimes. Fortunately, most of our crimes are property-related crimes, you know, vandalism and burglary. And, and while you know, that certainly is a serious offense, uh, we don't have probably as many crimes against people, you know, although they do occur. 2807, 2800. When you're patrolling the, the streets and the highways of this county, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, daytime burglaries, certainly in any rural area, are a problem uh, because the homes are far apart. They're pretty much sheltered from view from neighbors. Uh, it's a lot easier to burglarize a home out here than it would be, for instance, in a neighborhood in Euclid or Willoughby where the houses are close together and, and a neighbor is more apt to notice if a something is amiss or there's some suspicious activity going on next door and, and they'd be more likely to report it. You know, you never know with residential or commercial alarms, you know, most of them are false, but you can't rely on that, so in case you might need a backup, we're going to slide up that direction and see so if you need the hand. What I'll do is I'll, like there, we, I usually check the perimeter real quick. See if I see anything unusual before I go shake the door. But everything's locked up, all the windows are fine. So, false alarm. Even in a rural area, is there a fear factor in, in what you do? Oh, sure. I've, uh, you know, in the 18 years I've been here, I've been assaulted numerous times, and people try to shoot me, and I've been hospitalized and, you know, it, uh, it's kind of part of it that goes with the territory, you know. A good healthy dose of, of uh, fear, though, I think keeps you alert and, you know, I, I don't think any of us are paranoid about it, but it's always there in the back of your mind. When an officer goes down, say like in the city of Cleveland, something like that, does that affect you guys oh, out absolutely. here? Absolutely. There is a, a, a brotherhood among the officers. County Sheriff Departments are the oldest law enforcement agencies in the state. Indeed, the majority of Ohio's 88 Sheriff's Departments are just like Geauga County, rural in nature. And although the job of a country cop is a bit different from their urban counterparts, the rewards are still the same. As a kid, I used to play cops and robbers, and, and uh, it can be pretty satisfying making a good arrest, you know, taking a bad guy off the street. And, 